The launch of NASA's Voyager probes was like the start of an amazing trip into outer space. It showed that we can keep an eye on not just Earth, but also everything in our solar system and beyond. Even after 46 years, these awesome spacecraft are still giving scientists new and stunning information about space, although their memory is 3 million times smaller than that of our smartphones, and they're 38,000 times slower than our fastest 5G internet connection. These incredible probes still lead the way in exploring space. And now, Voyager 1 has just made an impossible discovery in interstellar space, one that challenges everything we thought we knew about the universe. It found something so unusual that scientists are left scratching their heads. But what exactly did it find and how does it redefine our understanding of the cosmos? Let's find out. Background history on a special day, September 5, 1977, from a place called Cape Canaveral in Florida. Something amazing happened. Voyager 1 began its journey into space, launched by a powerful rocket called Titan Eucentaur. Just 15 days later, on August 20, 1977, Voyager 2 joined in, starting its adventure into the universe. Their main job was to check out the big gas planets in our solar system, like Jupiter and Saturn, and the moons around them. But guess what? These space travelers went above and beyond. They went way out into our cosmic neighborhood, breaking lots of records on their astonishing long trip. They've been going longer than any other spacecraft ever, and they've gone farther from Earth than anything humans have made before. They even went into a place called interstellar space, which is like going into a whole new part of our galaxy that no one explored before. These space pioneers, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, are more than 12 billion miles away from us now. Still, they continue to surprise scientists with the amazing things they're finding out there. And they've recently found something so unexpected that no one saw it coming. The Voyager twin probes have done some awesome stuff. More than 40 years ago, they looked at the moons of Jupiter and Saturn and totally surprised scientists. People used to think these moons were boring and full of holes like our moon. But no, they're buzzing with activity. Voyager 2 was the first of the twins to swing by Uranus in 1986. And just three years later, it zoomed past Neptune. But here's something interesting. It's the only spacecraft that has ever done that. As these spacecraft continue on their amazing journey, NASA is doing some tricks to make sure they keep working. They turned off some things they didn't need, like extra parts and heaters to save power. That way, these spacecraft can keep going strong until at least 2030. For the scientists and engineers who've been part of this incredible adventure from the start, it's a mix of happy and sad feelings. They worked hard, and now, when they thought the Voyager missions were almost done, a shocking discovery emerged from outer space. Data transmission and Voyager 1's discovery the information sent back by Voyager 1 and its twin spacecraft has become a treasure trove for scientists. They sparked tons of discoveries and got people excited about space. These are two spacecraft that were built extra carefully, kind of like stable platforms, so they could take clear pictures and gather data while zooming through space. Even before they reached the outer planets, their pictures were already blowing scientists' minds. Voyager 1 started sending pictures of Jupiter, even though it was still far away from the planet. People at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory got excited when they saw the first pictures of Jupiter's swirling clouds and the famous Great Red Spot. But the big moment came when the Voyagers found something amazing on Jupiter's moon, Io. This moon, a bit bigger than Earth's moon, turned out to be the most active volcano in our whole solar system. Voyager 1's tools picked up weird signals from Io, and the pictures they took showed huge volcanic eruptions and stuff flying out into space. One of Io's volcano, called Peel, erupted tremendously high, even more than Mount Everest, and covered an area almost as big as France. The Voyagers combined took more than 33,000 pictures of Jupiter and its moons. They showed how stunning Jupiter is and all. The different landscapes on its moons. And before this recent and more shocking discovery, these twin spacecraft have been finding awesome things since they started their trip. Another big surprise was finding out Jupiter has rings, although they're not very bright. This discovery made Jupiter even more interesting. Also, Voyager 2 discovered that Europa, one of Jupiter's 53 moons, has a thick icy shell, more than 60 miles thick. These discoveries made scientists rethink what they thought about these far away. Things in space and got them curious about whether icy moons like Europa could be places where life could exist. As the Voyagers left Jupiter, they got a boost from the planet's gravity that acted like a powerful kick, sending them towards Saturn. This kick was exceptionally important because it helped them break free from the sun's pull and keep going into space. 
Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 went their ways after that, heading to new places. Voyager 1 got close to Saturn's moon Titan, which has a kind of orange, hazy air around it. Scientists got curious about Titan's mysteries, so they studied its complicated chemistry. Then, Voyager 1 turned away from the other planets and started going beyond our solar system. On the other hand, Voyager 2 had some amazing adventures too. In 1986, it flew by Uranus and found 10 new moons, adding to the total count. Three years later, it reached Neptune, showing us the amazing things about this faraway ice giant. Voyager 2 even measured winds on Neptune going as fast as 1,000 miles per hour, the fastest ever on a planet in our solar system. When the spacecraft got close to Neptune, just two 980 miles away, it gave us new and incredible details about this distant world. Neptune's biggest moon, Triton, turned out to be one of the coldest spots in our solar system, with temperatures dropping to a freezing minus 391 degrees Fahrenheit. Triton also had these cool ice volcanoes that shot out nitrogen gas and icy stuff into its thin air. All these discoveries made us realize how different and interesting the planets and moons in our solar system can be, even the farthest ones. Imagine a space adventure story, and one person who made a big difference in keeping it going was the famous stargazer, Carl Sagan. He was part of the team that took pictures for the Voyager mission, and he wanted to snap one last set of pictures before turning off the cameras. These pictures would be like a special gift for everyone on Earth. A final look at our home from way out in space. Sagan didn't give up. And it paid off. On Valentine's Day in 1990, Voyager 1 turned its camera back towards the inner solar system and took 60 pictures. The most famous one is called the Pale Blue Dot. It was taken from 38 billion miles away, making it the farthest picture ever taken of our planet. In the photo, Earth looks tiny, like a pale blue dot in the huge space around it. Even after 40 years, these spacecraft are still out there, sending us important information from the farthest parts of space. Now, let's talk about something a bit old school. The Voyager probes use an ancient 8-track tape system. Yes, you heard it right. 8-track tapes were a big deal in the 70s, and these probes are still rocking them. It just shows how smart the people who planned this mission were, making sure these old tapes could still do the job. But why 8-track tapes, you might be wondering. Well, that's a story worth hearing. You see, in the early days of exploring space, the kind of digital storage we use today was just starting out. So, they needed something tough and reliable to store important data. And those 8-track tapes turned out to be the perfect choice. What's even more interesting is that the info on these tapes isn't just regular music. It's valuable science data about planets, moons, and space between the stars. Yes, these tapes hold the answers to some of the biggest mysteries in the universe. Now, think about this. The Voyager spacecraft face crazy things like astonishing hot and cold temperatures, space radiation, and the emptiness of space. But unsurprisingly, these old explorers keep going strong. It's like sending your grandparents on an adventure in Antarctica. And not only do they survive, but they thrive. Why the Voyager missions worked so well. The Voyager missions had this awesome move called gravity assist maneuvers. Think of it like this. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, two bold space explorers, were on a big mission to explore the way out in our solar system. To get to these faraway places and gather important, information. They needed a little help, something more than just their engines. Here's where gravity assists come in, and it's kind of like a space dance. Instead of only using their engines, these spacecraft did this cool celestial dance with some of the solar system's big planets. They used the strong pull of these giants to slingshot themselves forward, saving fuel and getting the speed they needed to visit lots of different places. Now, let's go back to the basics. Gravity assist, also known as a gravitational slingshot, is about grabbing some speed from a planet as the spacecraft goes by. Imagine Voyager 1 rolling up to Jupiter, a huge gas giant with a pull to match its size. The smart minds at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory made sure Voyager 1 swirled past Jupiter at just the right angle and speed. Jupiter's gravity pulled at the spacecraft, making it go faster, like a space power-up. But here's the tricky part, there's a trade-off. When Voyager 1 got that speed boost, Jupiter lost a bit of its energy, just a tiny bit. But no worries, because Jupiter's so big, it barely felt it. Voyager 1 got the extra speed it needed to head on over to its next stop, Saturn, and then beyond to the vast universe. This clever trick made Voyager 1's journey even more amazing, taking it to far-off places without needing loads of extra fuel. Now, let's get to the really big news. 
Voyager 1 made a discovery that stunned everyone. It found something weird in interstellar space. The spacecraft came across the first sign of a huge magnetic highway in space. This is where the sun's magnetic field interacts with the stuff between the stars, creating a mysterious region we've never seen before. Voyager 1's tools measured weird changes in magnetic fields and charged particles, telling us that it had entered a new, mysterious area of space. These new findings could change what we know about our place in the universe and how the sun affects the space around it. And even though Voyager 1 is far away, it still sends back information using a small antenna. Scientists eagerly wait for each new bit of data, hoping to learn more about this strange new region of space. To wrap it up, NASA's Voyager missions have been an amazing adventure that shows what humans can achieve in space exploration. Even after more than 40 years, these spacecraft still send back new and surprising information, like this recent discovery of a magnetic highway in interstellar space. This new finding could change how we think about our place in the universe and how the sun affects space around it. As we wait for more discoveries, we can't help but be amazed by the Voyager mission's incredible journey and their impact on our understanding of the universe.